On the tee from the USA, Ricky Fowler. Winning here in 2015, 33 of the last four holes to edge out Matty Kucha. He looked good for two rows, didn't he? A lot of low shots and moving it into the wind to hold the ball straight. A snap hook. No, pitch out. Out to the right, held the runner at first. Sloppy start for Ricky Fowler. I don't think he's never seen that before. Yeah, nice cut. Fowler, tee shot at the first of the par threes. 158 yards. <laughs> Ricky Fowler for birdie at three. Back to back birdies for Fowler. He might have to take a little bit off this one. Down off the left. Just got to avoid that pop bunkered short right. But certainly doesn't want to be down the left either. No shot left of this flag. That's a pretty good shot. Just going to find the front right of the green. And well played. He can get this within three feet with this wind blowing now. It's a reasonable effort. Way too hard, wasn't it? I mean, more for positive putting, but that was a just a welt. Yeah, and Fowler's got 158 playing 149 down the hill, back into the teeth of this wind. Looking to be knocking this one down, make sure it doesn't balloon. And he's actually ballooned, it's going to come up short. And it's okay, it's not too bad. First putt was really poor for his standards. Well, he didn't see a lot, but... Um like you, Stormy, but it just edged away right and missed by a considerable distance. Ricky, one over par for a golf course that's playing extremely difficult over those first nine holes. What's your thoughts on your play and the way it is playing? Uh, a little shaky off the first, but uh, backed it up with two birdies and I feel like I've made some, actually some really good swings since. Just uh, misjudged the wind a little bit. Obviously, this is the most wind we've seen. It's the reason why we're playing this week as well, to uh, see some conditions and obviously get uh, reacquainted with True Links Golf. So, happy with where we're at. I um, finally made a couple of pars after a couple of bogeys, so uh, looking forward to taking advantage of the back nine here. How important is experience, patience and the right attitude on days like today? I mean, it's huge. Obviously going in with the right mindset, but obviously keeping that mindset while you're out here because I mean, I hit a three iron that went 330 or so over there, and you, you got to kind of expect the unexpected. There's gonna, you're gonna get some weird hops, you're gonna get some bad bounces. You just got to take the punches and keep moving on. So, you know, one over through the front, not terrible. Obviously, not what we wanted, but it's tough for everyone out here today. Your caddy Joe has been with you right since the beginning of your career. How valuable is he on days like this, and what makes your relationship work so well? Well, I think he obviously understands my game very well, and a lot of times when we do get in windy conditions, he's really just 
making sure I have the numbers, making sure I have all the info that I want and need, and in a way letting me use my creativity and hit some shots. Uh, I'll still explain some things to him and what I may be trying to do so I'm not getting too far off the page. But uh, he's great. Like I said, we've been together since before I turned pro, and he's known me since I've been three years old. I grew up playing junior golf at his parents ran the local junior golf association so um we've known each other for quite some time really appreciate the chat thanks so you got it it's still relatively uncommon for a, a top player to keep the same caddy for such a long time Rookie Fowler on 11. Can he squeeze one in? Yes. It's him back to 10 under. There's a guy took it right if he really gets the right side through the ball. Uses body to very great effect power wise. That's a corker. He generates some club head speed, doesn't he? He's not that big a guy. Yeah. No, he's a tiddler. Yeah, it is blown hard off the left hand side here at 14. Just a little knockdown shot from Ricky. It's looking really good. Great opportunity there for Ricky Fowler, even par for his round. I do think this is very aggressive from Ricky Fowler. 294 to the bunker on the right. Oh, left. Oh, left. Don't have to worry about that. Didn't see it guys. Oh, Ooh, it's he's in the rough. Ten yards in the really heavy stuff. Very aggressive there from Ricky Fowler. Ricky Fowler back down the slope. Should be left to right by a good two cups. Oh. How about that Fowler? You're looking just a couple of bounces and a bit of check. Well, maybe he should have done that. Yeah, this good. Yep. Yeah, and Ricky Fowler, there's not a lot of break in this pot. Maybe just a hair off the right hand side with the win factor. Fowler gets to 12, just one off Bjork's 13. Had a really difficult lie. The only thing that was in his favour was the wind. Well, what a shot that is. Well, that was Alan Mickelson. <laughs> that was as good a shot as the tee shot was bad. This putt shouldn't be too much break. Firm and straight. Everyone from that position has overread it. And a four for Ricky. Foul. A seven way tie for the lead at 12 under par. He didn't. Nothing really happened for Ricky out there today, didn't it? All of a sudden, three birdies on the back nine back in 32. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.